Sorry for the interruption. Um, so that's normative versus prescriptive. And if you believe in even one, read the Pojman chapter, um, the one that he wrote. I know he's the editor of the book, but there's a book, there's a chapter in the textbook that he wrote on objective ethics. If there's even one thing that you think is always true, no matter who, where, when, this is always true about ethics, then you're an objective ethicist. Um, it could, you know, to be objectivist doesn't mean that you think every ethical decision has one and only one answer. But to be an objective ethicist means that there are some things that are always wrong. Okay, that, that's where we're going. Um, so, if ethics really are relative and really are only cultural, and it's only cultural norms, then the Nazis weren't wrong. And the heroes who fought the Nazis were just stupid. At least the German ones. Um, and and if you know if um, if there are no objective ethics, then Martin Luther King wasn't a hero. He was just out to assure his own rights, and was just being a pragmatist. That was the best way to get him. And anybody who was white and marched with and supported Martin Luther King Jr. was just stupid for resisting um, the, the predominant white culture of America in the 50s and 60s. Um, if you're a relativist, if it's all about culture and cultural norms, then there is no right, no wrong. There just is what is. Um, so keep that in mind. Um,